everyone. Is that what you're looking for, Lug? That was good, dude. I bring excitement, I bring spunk. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Hush Life vlog. We've been kind of terrible at doing vlogs the last little while, but we sat down as a group and we said, I think, we think that people like the vlogs. We're bringing the vlogs back full, full in effect. Um, we're on a little special trip for the next couple days. I'm not sure if we're allowed to really talk much about what exactly is going on. We'll ask the guys, but uh, it should be fun. We're gonna show you guys what we're doing in a roundabout way. There's little cabins that we're gonna stay in. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some uh, side-by-sides. Dude, it's the boys. Some some, some four-wheelers, some side-by-sides. Let's go meet meet the crew, meet the people. I even see a professional photographer here, Logan. Are you feeling a little nervous? I'm, I'm gonna stay in the truck. <laughs> it's time to up your game. The boys. Look how happy. This is a behind the scenes look though. At a project that Can Am's doing. It's uh oh, three so there's we have we've got a production crew come from Can Am. We have Stephen Drake shooting photos for Can Am. And they're telling a story about how we built oh, our brand. Yeah. It's so kinda wild. It's they it got a little uncomfortable, but it's it's, it's different. Cool. The guys, we are really bare bones basic when it comes to our production. I mean we basically document with self vlogs and a couple cameras with these guys, but they've got a series on their YouTube channel called Living the Land, and it's really cool. They've got a few short films that they've got out, and they've highlighted some of their, I don't know, like Can Am writers, I guess, and they're gonna make one of us, which yeah. is, it's it is weird because I've never I've never had someone produce a production about us, and I, I think it's gonna turn out really sweet. I think it's going to Casey's head. I think he's, he's ordering people around now. He's like, get this shot. Look at him. <laughs> Casey's basically turned into Kanye West. Previous life. He's done this a little bit before, <laughs> prior, prior to Hush, but it's uh, it's super fun. Like, we got the whole crew. Yeah, we got the whole crew. Matty Ice is on the camera. Logie Bear is running the camera. We got Josh pictures. and Bobby, Mr. Drake. Taking pictures of dudes. Taking pictures of dudes. And um, so we're out back here at the R&K Ranch where we took gauge hunting, where Matt used to work. And uh, they've been so gracious and kind enough to host this little project. We weren't able to like schedule to where these guys could actually get out on a hunt and kind of like traipse around with us just from a timing standpoint. So we're gonna be out here just kind of doing other fun things, hopefully shooting the bows, shooting maybe the rifles. Take hunting. Pretending to shed hunt, Fake shed hunting. pretending to hunt, which it's, is again kind of kind of weird, but it just happens, I guess. Yeah, it, uh, like I'm excited because they're uh, living the land episodes so far are really cool. Yeah, just it's like really like storytelling type of documentaries yeah. it about people. Me, like a lot of the Yeti presents stuff. Yeah, right. Like cool stories with cool B-roll with kind of cool interview. So. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of like, shoot that, do that again. Uh, one more time. Oh, not the right lighting, different lighting. So they're doing Casey kind of setting up camp right now. Okay, Best you've ever seen. Guys, we're just doing a little cooking on the old camp chef. Doing some, uh, I think it's become a staple. So it's definitely a staple when I was a younger lad hunting with my dad do uh, some sort of wild game fajitas at El Camp. So I've tried to continue on with that tradition, but just get pulling some of the meat off, got some veggies going. Uh, we should be ready to eat here in about five minutes. Side by side around the Defender. You guys want to see what it has and hear what it has? Here it is. No big deal. The turkey's fine because it's in season. Okay. Driving out the right, let's pull it kind of like on the edge of the road here. Yeah. Plate in the can of 
Uh, let's do something where you kind of like put your finger in here and kind of like pull it down. One more time. Yep. Go ahead. Breakfast stuff? Here's some breakfast stuff. Yeah, so we just went and shot some things. Didn't actually shoot at things. We did some shooting with the cameras. There you go. Now they're gonna go shoot some more things with the cameras. And then um, I'm gonna make some breakfast for everybody. Got some eggs, some bacon, do some sausage. I think I'm gonna reheat some of that uh, carne asada. Carne asada. And then we'll throw it on a breakfast burrito, wrap it up. Like that. All right, guys, we are just wrapping up the shed hunting portion of this Can-Am shoot. I'll give you a little behind the scenes tour. It's super cool working with photographers and videographer production team who do this full time. Some, some cinematic commercials that literally are top of the line. It's fun to shadow them and learn a bunch of stuff, but right now we're getting final portraits. Check it out. We were making up some dinner. We got two giant salmon fillets. Um, this is Logie's take on salmon. He went with more of a traditional salmon, I believe. Yeah. A little, but I don't know what season he put on a lot. Uh, he did some lemons, a little bit of dill, some butter. I went with a more like oriental fill with some soy sauce, teriyaki. So we're gonna throw them in the oven and then we're gonna start a podcast. I'm not gonna come help you guys. This well, guys, um, I'm very appreciative of this beautiful kitchen that R&K have down here because we just did two giant slabs of salmon, did some asparagus, we did some rice. It's raining outside, so we're warm inside, and I think we've prepared a pretty decent meal. Logan is in on this, too. It's really good. We did two different salmon two ways. Salmon two ways. We did soy teriyaki over here on the right, Casey did, with some limes. And we did more of a classic. Um, I did kind of a little bit of Cajun, a little heat. I did red pepper on the butter as well, but we got two different slabs that looked delicious. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> Cameraman eats first, what do you think? What are your um, thoughts on just the appearance? Shoot, I forgot which one's which. I'll tell you. This one. This is like the one I did this one, kids. This is the okay. one that would be good. This one would be great. <laughs> okay, so this is Logan's. Gotta get a good bite. That's pretty, pretty bomb. I wanted a I tear, so. Matt. There was no tear. <laughs> the aftertaste, you can definitely taste the Cajun. I'm gonna give that like a hard eight, six. A rookie score, dude. That's hot. No, come on, come on. Let the man rate Trashing the salmon. Before you rate mine. <laughs> Uh, super moist, but not as much flavor as Logan's. I'm sorry, you lose the battle. In my opinion, on in my behalf, I actually cooked it too. So yeah, you're right. Can I help transfer that onto the pan? But I like I like a lot of seasoning. Well, it'll be interesting to see what everyone. Yeah, I mean, don't take my word for it. There's a lot That's of other my dudes. Guy. That's my guy. Camera guys stick together. I get it. I understand. They put you in a no-win situation. Here, give me some soy sauce. I'll pour it on there. <laughs> You, want, you haven't got the whole experience yet. You want seasoning? <laughs> Open your mouth. Just onion salt. Bam. Is it really good? It's really, really good. Cool. I'm gonna try it. You made it's weird how that stuff makes it makes it so jealous and just the whole I gotta try it for myself now. They both look delicious. <laughs> His or yours? <laughs> His. It's really dressing this up, Steve. So you guys, it's a full day of filming and we're gonna do a podcast we're gonna eat and if you guys didn't know we have a podcast on all the platforms amazon spotify um youtube uh, we're kind of moving away from the video podcasts so let us know what you guys think about that um more of just the audio experience so like i said spotify amazon apple podcasts basically all the platforms so we're gonna grub up 
and uh, go do one of those. So go hit that link in the bio if you guys want to check out our podcast. It's the morning of getting getting more shots. Looks like we're on a late season mule deer hunt. That's what it kind of feels like. Saw a lot of deer. Saw a lot of deer tracks. It's cold. So I'm gonna take a dive, dude. <laughs> uh, in action. Didn't get him. Missed out. It's all right. We'll make it another one. We're uh, we're doing commercials. We're in the back country right now with the Can Am. We're gonna do the uh, bivy spike scene. It's a lot easier to do this when we're actually bivying out. So. We're in this cool little location, a little flat. Um, all all the boys are in the can am. <laughs> no, dude. Button yourself up, guy. We're good. You can set this stuff over here. Work <laughs> the fire right there. In the room. Hi, guys. We built a fire. Set up a camp. Brian, I don't know, he keeps getting in and out of the side by side. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> you can watch. Stoetic pose. Stance, see that? Oh. I don't know if we've done a phenomenal job of explaining what we're doing. We're shooting a project. We're excited about it, but we've had an absolutely glorious time down here. The weather's been a little iffy, but it is spring here in the Rocky Mountains. So um, we were just finishing up. We got a couple more things to do. We're gonna cook some burgers for the boys on the Cam Chef, but big shout out to r &K. If you guys remember, this is where um, we came and brought Gage last year to go on that elk hunt. And that, Matt used to work here. He used to be a guide here at r &K. And that's, um, I think, probably the second or third time we met Matt on that elk hunt. But uh, these guys have been phenomenal. Gave us some places to stay, all these little cabins. But if you guys are ever looking into doing like a, you know, if you don't draw out on an elk tag, you want to do an elk hunt, look up at the R&K. They have some phenomenal properties. They do elk, deer, moose, if you could draw a tag, antelope. They kind of do it all. And uh, like I said, really cool properties, great amenities. And uh, it's just been a place for us to do this little shoot for the last two and a half, three days. So big shout out to R&K. Daniel, thank you um, for letting us do this. And uh, we're gonna finish this thing up, but I'm excited to bring this to you. It's gonna be really cool, I think. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed our real discreet vlog. At the time we shot it, we didn't know what we were allowed to say. We didn't wanna kinda give too much away, but the time is now. So what we were working on is a really cool project with our good buddies at Can-Am. They've been shooting these series called Living the Land for the last couple of years, and they wanted to tell our story. One of the most asked questions we get is how did this whole thing come together? Where did the Hush Life start? How did we all come together? And where are we at now? Can and I just shot a 10 minute documentary of the just that, our story. They did a phenomenal job with the help of our good buddy, Steven Drake, who is a professional photographer from Montana. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, do yourself a favor and go follow Steven Drake. He does phenomenal work. The guys at Can-Am couldn't have done a better job. Super, super talented. We are so happy with how this thing turned out. I'm gonna roll the trailer right now to get you guys hyped up. As soon as that trailer is done, go click the link in the below to go to the Can-Am website and watch our documentary, Hush Life, Live in the Land. Hushin is a brand. The name comes from hunting, fishing, combined, Hushin. 
We founded the company on three primary principles. The first one was to inspire new hunters and anglers to get out in the field, to raise awareness about conservation issues. And the third pillar is just to give back. Thanks guys. Helping out a children's hospital or a local boys home, whatever it is. And that's what we say is our why. I want to teach people about this lifestyle that we have and, and getting outdoors and shooting bows and you know hiking, and being really living a happier and healthier lifestyle initial passion in us was the ability, the access to get out and experience these things off the land that was available for us to enjoy.